order to introduce you to beta blockers, which might not be a drug or a ped that you've heard about a great deal before, I thought I'd sort of start with this uh, with this sort of image from WAD. So first of all, this is from WAD and the World Anti-Doping Agency's website, so I'm going to have a little look. Um, but you'll notice here that beta blockers are pro prohibited in competition only in the following. And they're also pro prohibited out of competition. So in competition, they're prohibited in darts, golf, for example. But if a golfer wants to take these things out of competition... They can get stuck in, right? I mean, I don't know whether they'd want to. Same with things like skiing, snowboarding, banned for in competition. Underwater sports, banned in competition. Uh, automobiles, so, you know, things like uh, racing cars and bikes. If you if you want to do that, um, if you want to if you want to take part in snooker or billiards, uh, you can't use beta blockers during your performance, but outside you can. And if you notice here, there's others that are banned both in and out of competitions, archery, uh, we've got in there shooting. I'll come back to shooting in a second and so on. So what is this beta blocker thing? Why is it treated this way? What does it do? Okay, well, a couple of things that I want you to be aware of. So I'll, I'm just going to put BBs here, okay, with, with regard to beta blockers just for sure. So the positive impact they have on athletes. Let's see if we can address this. They, amongst other things, down arrow reduce. In fact, <laughs> the down arrow is the reduce heart rate. So they bring a performer's heart rate down. Think about that. They also down arrow muscle tension. So you might think, well, who needs sort of muscle tension less in their performance? That's kind of an interesting thing, right? They also they also decrease blood pressure. So it seems odd, right, for any kind of sports person that's running around and sort of doing athletic type stuff. None of this would make sense, would it? Okay. And they also reduce the effects of adrenaline. Now can you start to consider why those athletes or the list of sports up above would benefit from this? Let's just go through this. So they are calmer. Their hands shake less. They're stiller, more calm. They don't sort of get that feeling of pressure and worry that an increased blood pressure can, can bring. And any release of adrenaline has got a minimal impact on them. So getting aroused and excited in the competition is not going to happen. And they can still keep their hands steady. So I'm going to put in here steady hand i'm going to put in here for example precision it helps with people who need to be really precise i'm going to put in here accuracy anyone that sport is based on those concepts only may benefit from this particular drug but they have negative impacts these beta blockers they can cause nausea just remind yourself that nausea means kind of sickness and upset stomach they can cause weakness and what we mean by weakness here is physical weakness why because we've got a, a decreased muscle muscle tension and they can cause heart problems okay so it's not like this is good for you or anything like that but can you see now why for example an archer say would want to potentially use a beta blocker steady hand more accurate more precise control your nerves etc let me put this in here actually in green control nerves control arousal i think that's a really nice way to put that isn't it Control arousal, control nerves. So can you see, for example, why a shooter, let's, let's talk about a pistol shooter, why they might benefit from this. Now, I want to talk about shooting just ever so briefly. Pistol shooting, let me be specific. Pistol shooting, get ready for this, is considered to be one of the dopiest. And I don't mean they're a bit daft. It's one of the sports where most doping goes on in the whole world. Okay, And that's because these beta blockers are effective at steadying the hand and allowing that calmness to come over the performer. That's what beta blockers are for. Cheers.